I'm very happy to announce that the HTML text styler custom visual for Power BI has just been certified by Microsoft. So I thought this would be a good opportunity to show a couple of things that can be done with the visual. In the next couple of minutes, I'm going to show you samples of elements that were all created using a combination of DAX and HTML. This will not be the full list of elements that you can create with the visual, but it should, it should deal as an inspiration to you, the end user, to go and download the visual, get our sample report, and then start creating your very own custom elements for your Power BI reports. So let's start with tables. Tables are included in most Power BI reports, but sometimes you want to custom style your, your, your table. You have a specific style in mind, and with the native visual, this might not always be possible. With the combination of HTML and DAX, you can format font, font size, you can add hyperlinks, you can add images, GIFs, animations, um, all sorts of elements, and make it fully dynamic. The same goes for KPI cards. KPI cards are seen in every report, but sometimes you want to have a very specific card. With HTML, you can create your very personal KPI card and you can define, again, the background color, font color, the border, the border style, and make it all dynamic using measures. So when I select a different country from this drop down here, from this slicer here, you can see that all the KPI cards change. Sometimes it's the border color, sometimes it's the background color, sometimes it's a smiley face or another icon. So all this can be done using DAX and HTML. Of course, the HTML text style can also be used in custom um, report page tooltips. And with the new version, the visual itself supports tooltips. So depending on what element I have selected in the visual, a different tooltip is displayed. What if you don't have a lot of space on your report and you decide that you want to move or scroll your KPIs across the screen? Or as in this specific example, we have stock prices um, and they just move from left to right or if you prefer the other way around. So again here, every element can be defined by the user, speed, direction, uh, all sorts of stuff. Animate GIFs can really draw the user's attention. But adding just an animated logo, that's just one use case. Me personally, what I really like animated GIFs for is to add end user information, to record small videos and create GIFs from them, which help the user to learn how to use a report, how to navigate, how to filter, how to cross filter, and add these GIFs in combination with some text to the report to guide the user so they know how to use the report. If you have an image or a GIF that you want to transfer or convert into a measure, simply navigate to our brand new converter, which can be found on kteam.ch slash converter. On this page, we again see the different formatting options. So we can underline and we can color and we can have bold text. Um, but that's not really the main message of what I'm trying to show here. What I'm trying to show here is that I think it would be nice for the end user to be the one person to decide which font size should be shown. So maybe I prefer a bigger font, but somebody else would say, I'm happy with font size 14, so I don't need to scroll. Just leave it up to the user. Of course, also colors can be made fully dynamic. If I change the color here, all the elements here change background color, font color. We can even change the transparency or opacity. So this again gives us so many opportunities. Or, of course, we can add HTML icons. And there's hundreds, if not thousands of different icons. There's also one thing that I personally like, and I mentioned it before. It's the combination of text and images 
and the hyperlinks, maybe buttons and GIFs. So this again can be a great way to display end user help within the report. So this is here is just one visual which contains everything. And then if you have a very long document or a lot of text, it's probably a good idea to add anchor links. Anchor links mean that by clicking on it, let's say I click on font formatting, the visual automatically scrolls down to the correct position within the document. And with one click, I can scroll back to top. So these were just a couple of elements that can be created using a combination of HTML and DAX. With this combination, we can not only make the style dynamic, but we can also make the content dynamic using measures. If you want to learn how to use the HTML text styler, simply visit our knowledge base or even better if you have specific questions or you simply want us to show you how the visual works in a private demo session, just go ahead and schedule a free of charge demo session and we'll show you how to use the visual within your report. So hopefully this inspired you. Please go ahead, download the visual and take it for a spin. And simply reach out because we're always happy to help and hear your feedback.